G'day, it's Rob from the New Climbo Plan Reference Group and today I'm going to give you a super quick look at what to expect literally when you arrive for the interview panels for the scholarship program. Now, there's an obvious caveat around that, around this, which is every year is slightly different, the layout is slightly different, um, the way the logistics are handled is slightly different. So what you might experience when you come in for your interview might be slightly different, but this at least gives you a little bit of an idea about what it's going to look like when you arrive at um, at your interview. So first and foremost, you've got we've got this little check-in table. This year we're actually at the Ridges Hotel in Canberra. It has been at DFAT at the RG Casey building in the past, but either way you are going to have some sort of check-in to do when you first arrive. So these are the lovely people from Ignite who've been helping us out this year. Um, you then got some people hanging over here waiting for their interview, so you're going to have a little bit of chill time, so make sure you're well in advance and get yourself prepped. Ten minutes before um, your interview, you're going to get handed the questions that you've got to answer. So if you remember in that long video that I filmed for you guys, I make the suggestion, make sure you jot down some dot points you want to talk to, but don't spend ten minutes just writing and writing and writing and writing and writing, because once you're in the interview, you're not going to have time to actually read all of your notes. Dot points are the way to go. Let me take you inside now. Now I've got like three separate meetings happening on today, three separate panels going on. This is my room. Hi guys. We're not live. So each room is going to be set up slightly differently. This year our interview panels have got square tables, but in the past we've had like traditional boardroom tables, panel on one side, you in the middle on the other. Every setup is going to be slightly different. That's what to expect. Nobody's scary, everybody's nice, you're gonna rock it. Good luck for your scholarship interview. Okay guys, Rob again. Just come up Mount Ainsley after an awesome day interviewing New Colombo Plan Scholar applicants. What an incredible day, but I wanted to share a couple of key learnings for you. Out of like another three, four years worth of sitting on panels that have just been absolutely highlighted, so just a couple more tips for you that are absolutely gold. Number one, you're, nearly, you're telling a story, and the main story that you're telling is your story. Yes, you put in some very detailed applications, but don't feel like we know everything about you. You have to be unashamed about telling and retelling your story even down to the little bits of details that you think we might know. Don't feel embarrassed about repeating stuff that maybe you put in your application. Give us the details, we love it. Number two, make sure you explain why. Why did you involve, you, you get, you get involved in that particular club? Why do you want to go to the destination that you want to go to? You know, why is that particular subject that you're studying or interested in so important to you? What's the background behind where those feelings came from? The more you explain why, the easier it is for a panellist to resonate with what you're saying. So it's really, really important. Don't just tell us what and how. Make sure you tell us why. Number three, if you, you know the Australian taxpayer is investing like $50,000, $60,000 in this scholarship program for you. That's a huge investment. It's really obvious what's in it for you. What's in it for the Australian public, for Australia as a nation? You need to explain that really clearly. What is it, what's in it for the country by sending you as opposed to somebody else on this incredible scholarship program? Number four, this is a competitive application process. You do need to convince us why we should be picking you over somebody else. So don't feel bad about explaining what's unique about your particular skill sets, your um, discipline of study, the destination you're going to, and why that is so critical, once again, for Australia that you are there as opposed to somebody else. Number five, if by the end of your interview you actually have a little bit of time up your sleeve, lucky you, you actually get a chance, you may be given a chance, depending on the chair, to either ask a question or to actually make it say anything else you want to say to the panel before the interview wraps up. Make sure you've got something ready to say. Make sure you've got a killer question, either about the destination. I'm not going to give you any examples, in fact. Make sure you've got a question up your sleeve that you can ask the panel. Make sure that you've got a final pitch that you can make to your panel about why you, like why you over somebody else, why your choice of destination, why your choice of discipline, what are you going to contribute back to the country if you're chosen for this amazing opportunity. And number six, guys, most importantly, chill the fuck out. Like if you're a rock star, you are in that interview for a reason. People come in and they're super nervous and believe me, like I really get it, but you're a rock star. 
start. You are gonna smoke in that interview. You're gonna do an incredible job. So feel good about yourself. You are there already. When you're sitting out there, before you walk into the room, put positivity in your ears, guys. Put your favorite song in your ears. Don't like, sit there and hunch up and make yourself small. Be big. Be proud of how far you've come because you're gonna nail it and do an absolutely freaking incredible job in that interview. We believe in you, you're there for a reason. You're gonna knock it out in that interview. Stand up tall, be strong, rock it out, and good luck for your new combat.